Hey there everyone, this is Ona with Art of Awakening and I just wanted to give you a real quick kind of energy update and I'm feeling, um, I, uh, I understand like somebody Facebooked me earlier today that um, there are probably going to be like some big solar flares about this weekend and uh, you know like in my neck of the woods that means northern lights are real possible. I'm going to head out after this to see if I could see the northern lights. But um, I just, today I just got this real, like I've never had Lord Krishna come forward for me at all, you know, um, in a big way. But today, oh my gosh, I just got this like real big surge of kind of Lord Krishna, Krishna consciousness. It was, it was just kind of amazing. Um, he just came, came really forward into my consciousness. And so I'm feeling like, um, there's this, this Krishna consciousness that's coming forward. And, you know, it's pretty much the same as like Christ consciousness or Buddha consciousness, but in, in like, I just kind of picked it up as Krishna and, um, which, which I find, like I find just kind of different than like Jesus or, you know, I, I don't know. She, he, he's just really, really this beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, and it feels like that, that, that energy is really, it feels like it's really accessible right now. Um, so as you, if you follow me, you know that I'm sort of in limbo right now in, in terms of uh, household moves. So a lot of my art supplies are in, um, just kind of packed up right now, but I just kind of grabbed what I had, which is this, you know, kind of black paper and colored pencils, which I don't use a lot. Um, but this is kind of how he wanted to come forward. Um, if, if I had... <laughs> Maybe different materials, it might look a little different, but but he really came forward with a lot, a lot of energy. And I mean, see the kind of the, the threefold flame here, um, or that this, this tri, there's a triscalian going on, um, you know, like the threefold flame, you kind of masculine, feminine, um, you know, wisdom, power, wis power, power, love, and wisdom is called the threefold flame, you know, with uh, purification right in the middle. Um, this is supposed to be like this, this peacock feather of his really wanted it to be purple, like the violet flame. Cause I was getting violet flame out of it too. It just, I, I had just really limited colors. So I was kind of having to mix sort of whatever pinkish I could get and, you know, blues on the paper to see if it would turn purple. It sort of did. Um, but anyway, what I'm getting is just all this beautiful, just very dynamic energy and um, unification, like kind of big time unification happening. So this is like really the mask and feminine coming together as a, as a creative force and as well as this, this kind of transmutation energy happening. So it feels like the, there's like this portal open right now really for really coming in your purpose, right? Um, so I guess the encouragement right now is to, if you're feeling inspired at all, to, you know, just, just if something inspires you, whatever it is, like, don't hesitate, right? When you feel the inspiration, and especially if it's something that, you've really kind of felt called to do, especially if it has to do with something that you have felt really an affinity for since childhood. Um, it, it feels like, and I, I, I pulled the sole purpose card, I think just a couple days ago too, and been having all these kind of messages and, and things uh, surrounding um, you know, the sole purpose. Uh, it feels like it's just really this call right now to start moving forward into your purpose, like really owning it, right? Really owning it and whatever that means for you. I mean, maybe you're already living your purpose. Maybe, you know, if that's the case, maybe that's a call to step forward, you know, even more and become maybe more visible with it. Um, or if it's, you know, something that you've been kind of toying with or just sort of like a little bit holding back, um, any time right now to think about maybe, you know, committing a little bit deeper or, 
or if you've just been feeling frustrated or just not even knowing kind of what is my purpose? What is my purpose? Well, I, I don't know that the message I'm getting to, to, to convey to people is like, you, you know what your purpose is. Your soul knows your heart knows. So listen to your heart, right? And, and whatever it is, um, you know, what do you love? What do you love to do? Because like this Krishna, he's really, he's really about love. You just pure love and devotion. Um, and he's also, I mean, he's not wishy-washy love though. I mean, he's fierce love. He can be, I mean, he can be really, really sweet and compassionate, very sweet. Um, but he's also can be just really like, like on fire. I mean, he doesn't play, he doesn't mess around, right? Krishna. Um, it, it, it's like, you know, Krishna's, Krishna consciousness really does have to do with just this, this kind of fire energy of moving forward um, and not allowing, it's like kind of burning away that which isn't true for you or stands in the way of your truth, burning away that which stands away in the way of your truth. Um, you know, and that can be any kind of doubts coming from other people, maybe from family, anything like that. Just really, you know, is it your truth or not? And if it's not yours, um, you know, if it's not yours, let it go or, or just bust through it or just ignore it or, you know, you know, go away, go just, just, just do your own thing. Like really focus on what, what is yours? What's your purpose? What, what are you here for? Um, I guess that's, that's pretty much the message is that it's a really, really, really good time. Like the energy is really supporting, you know, whatever light work you do. And I think it's important also to realize that you you can whatever you love to do and it doesn't have to be healing work quote unquote right i think there's a certain perception that to be a light worker one has to be a quote unquote healer well you can be a healer no matter what you are doing you know if you're a gardener a landscaper um maybe you're an accountant right um whatever it is if you put that if that's your passion if that's your passion, maybe it's sales even, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. Um, whatever it is that you love to do that really makes you feel amazing and, and that you get passionate about, that you geek out over, what do you geek out over, right? Uh, it does not have to be quote-unquote healing work. Uh, the world needs conscious people in all areas, all areas. So it's really a, a, a call to step into the truth, admit the truth to yourself and start moving forward with it, forward with it, because the world needs you. I mean, the, the, look at the weird stuff that's happening on the planet right now. I mean, just politically and environmentally and so forth. Um, it, it, it's a call for people to, to, to really start stepping into their truth because whatever it is you do, if you're doing it in your truth, if you're doing it with this Christ consciousness, with this Krishna consciousness, with this Buddha consciousness, um, it's going to do good in the world, right? It's it's going to help to create this beautiful new reality that we are all co-creating together. So anyway, <laughs> I know this light is pretty bad and I don't know, whatever, I'll try to take a better picture of this tomorrow and post it, but uh, um Anyway, that's the message. So uh, enjoy and have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'll catch you again soon.